Hello everyone. Today we've got some new Paul Georges. The PG1s, they just came from Nike.ca. That's right, I'm Canadian. Here's the shoe box, very interesting indeed. It says Paul George right there. As you can see the top, here's the bottom. Not too special. Let's see the sneakers. If the box would open. Now this is a colorway I haven't seen on YouTube yet. By the time I upload this, there might be some videos on them. But here they are. These are the brand new Paul George colorway, PG1 colorway. I don't really know how new they are, but I'm pretty certain they're like less than a month old. And I think they're pretty fly. So let's just readjust the focus here. So we, we can see how great they look. Let's bring up some lighting. Oh, wow. So we threw in some more light there. Some more depth of field as well. As you can see the bottom of the shoe is very interesting. The gum bottom and the black sneaker. It's almost triple black, but I can't throw that in the title. If you notice, my triple black videos do pretty well. Uh, Nike Zoom technology. It says Nike Zoom right there. There's a nice Nike logo. This material is extremely interesting. I wouldn't say that it's leather. It might be but it does resemble leather. This one's also kind of interesting. There's a gorgeous little Velcro strap here. And if you can see, there's a very interesting fa fastening mechanism over here with the Velcro. So this isn't my size, so I can't really throw it on. But what I can tell you is there's an air unit right here in this black area. And apparently the minimal air in this air unit in this tiny area allows for better explosive ability. And that is because when you have air unit throughout an air unit throughout the shoe, it's not as beneficial as having a tiny air unit according to some people. So all in all, the sneaker is pretty fly. Like I said earlier, I can't throw it on because it's not my size. But who knows, by the end of this video, I might have a pair of this coming my way. I'm gonna have to find out how nice they are on the court myself. My friend tells me they're pretty solid. They're one of the best basketball shoes he's had some time. He just had the crazy explosives, but he said the size he received was a little bit big. So he wasn't satisfied with that. So he decided to pick these up and he said he's in love. But the last thing I want to talk about right here, I did mention earlier, very interesting colorway with the gum bottoms and the black combo. I find it super sleek, super interesting, and it does make the shoe look kind of small. It definitely makes the shoe look kind of small. This one's a nine and a half, actually. It's not a nine. It does look bigger than the nine. How do I know that? Because I know how the nine looks. The sticker is already coming off right here. That's kind of sad. Nobody even put their foot in here. Let's throw that back in there. Inside the sneaker, there's a nice little Paul George signature. Let's see here. Got that sticker back down, but clearly it's not straight, so it's okay. At the back, it says number 13. Um, what else is there to say about the shoe? It's pretty interesting. There's a few other things I want to mention here. Very interesting little 
information piece about these four little straps here. When you pull on them, it actually tightens this portion of the shoe because these are connected to this little area. So this strap actually functions as a tightening mechanism for the entire sneaker. And the other thing I want to mention is that this tongue over here is only one piece. It's all one piece part of the shoe. The tongue cannot be extended. So as you can see here, this is all connected. It's kind of easy inspired if you ask me. My friend that actually wears these shoes tells me that the grip is pretty solid. So I don't know if I can vouch for that. You know my standards of grip are much higher. So let's try it. It's not really functioning here. I can't really test it without my size. But he says they're good. I don't know if I can believe that. The other thing I want to talk about right here is that one side is missing the silver line that's on the heel strap on the right. There's no silver line on the left. The other thing I want to mention is that the laces match the silver line that's only on one side of the shoe. However, I should mention I'm not certain as to why there's silver lining on this side. I know you geniuses in the comment section will definitely teach me a lesson on that as soon as you can. So before I end the video, I want to mention this last little logo here. That's the Paul George logo. It says PG right there. Let's see here if I get this in focus. One shoe might be a little easier. PG right there. PG. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.